Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will talk about the polynomial function. Ang target natin today is to define a polynomial function and to determine the degree of it. And sa banandula, magkakaroon tayo ng activity wherein we will try to determine or identify whether the given mathematical sentence is an example of polynomial function or not. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So meron mong tayo itong definition of polynomial function. A polynomial function is a function in variable x, again, in variable x, in the form p of x is equal to a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 x n raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. So dito, explain ko sa inyo that in a polynomial function, kailangan natin is a single variable. And in this case, uh, we are in the variable x. And let's move on with the next part. Ah, sorry. Uh, this is, these are the terms. I think first term natin, second term, third, and so on. Ngayon dito, ang arrangement natin when it comes to polynomial function, ang normal arrangement niya is that nauna yung, uh, yung term with the variable of highest exponent. Okay? So let's move on to the second one. The degree of function. The highest exponent of the function is the degree of a given function. Alam naman natin, kahit starting from the linear, quadratic, alam natin na yung degree natin is determined by the highest exponent of a variable. And para makita natin dito, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 examples of function. Sa kung saan, lahat sila ay under ng polynomial function. Okay? So, let's start with the first one. We have f of x is equal to 5. So, una, alam natin yung degree. The degree of this, since meron tayong number lang dito, we don't have a variable, the degree is equal to 0. Sige, lagyan natin yung type of function. This one is an example of constant function. Kasi constant lang siya. Or number lang siya. Next function natin, we have f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. We're in, as you can see, we have here the variable x. And wala ka nakikita ang variable. Wala na itang exponent. Pero understood siya na meron dito invisible 1. So, ang kanyang highest exponent is 1. Therefore, the degree of this function is equal to 1. And this kind of function is linear function. Next, we have g of x is equal to 3x squared minus x plus 1, where in, as you can see, the highest exponent is 2. So, paano ko yung meron tayo itong 1? You need to consider which one is the highest number. Between 1 and 2, the larger number is 2. Therefore, the degree of this polynomial function is 2. And anong klaseng polynomial function siya? Since the highest exponent is 2, this one is a quadratic. function. Now let's have the fourth example. We have h of x is equal to negative 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus 9. So as you can see, the highest degree or the highest exponent is 3. Therefore, the degree is 3. And the type of function, this is a cubic function. Again, cubic function. So let's move on to the last one. We have k of x is equal to 6 x raised to the fourth power minus 3 x raised to 3 minus 2 x raised to 2 plus x plus 9. So as you can see, the highest exponent is 4. And ibig sabihin niya, the degree is 4. Or in fourth degree, yung ating function. At anong klaseng function yung merong degree of 4? That is... Quartic. 
quartic function. So, I hope guys na nakuha yung definition natin, yung form of our polynomial function, as well as degree, and the type of function na meron tayo. So, let's move on with our examples. Sabi dito, determine if the given is a polynomial function or not. So, dalawa lang naman yan, polynomial or not. If it is, classify it according to its degree. So, let's move on with number one. Number one, we're given f of x is equal to 9x squared plus 10x minus 16. Now, this one is definitely an example of polynomial function. Mial function. As for the degree, the degree is 2. And since the degree is 2, anong klase ng function siya? This function is a quadratic function. Quadratic. Now, let's move on. With item number 2. For item number 2, this one is g of x is equal to x cubed. Okay, x cubed minus 2 square root of x. Now, this one is not a function. Okay? Not a polynomial So what is the reason why item number 2 is not considered as polynomial function? Meron tayong mga restrictions guys and one of those ay kapag yung variable mo ay nasa loob ng radical sign. Okay lang magkaroon ng radical sign like if you have a square root of 2x okay lang yan. But Dito kasi, yung ating variable is not inside the radical sign. Okay? Dito kasi, yung variable natin is in the radical sign. Therefore, this one is not a polynomial function. Let's talk about number 3. We have h of x is equal to 4x squared plus 3x minus 2 over x. Now, this one is also not a polynomial function. Reason, pinakod is a reason because you have your variable in the denominator. So, ano yung reason bakit ano, hindi pwede yung variable in the denominator? We can rewrite this kasi, yung negative 2 over x natin is also equal to negative 2 x raised to negative 1, wherein hindi allowed yung negative exponent for the variable of a polynomial function. Okay? So, pag nalit ang uh, meron, kang meron kang variable in the denominator automatic, not a polynomial function. So, let's have number 4. We have k of x is equal to negative 2x to the 4th power plus 3x cubed minus x. So, wala po yung, ano, yung exponent na kung sa kawal, okay lang yan. As long as nakikita mo, ano yung highest exponent? So, ito ay polynomial function. with a degree of 4, and anong klaseng function siya? Quartic function. Okay? So, that's lastly, number 5. f of x is equal to 15. Definitely, this one is an example of polynomial function. And the degree is 0, tapos constant. Yung kanyang type. And guys, I hope na nakuha niyo yung lecture natin about the definition of polynomial function, degree of function, type of function, and how to determine whether the given mathematical sentence is an example of polynomial function or not. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goy. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!